Before you watch this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap the bell for notifications. Let's dive on in. Today, I want to do a short review on my favorite headphones of all time, the Sony MDR7506s. Now, as you can see, I use these headphones regularly. These are my headphones in my little uh, corner booth over here. You can see the acoustic phone behind me. This is where I do my recording. Um, these headphones <clears throat> are actually pretty brand new. I didn't get these until I started working on my last project, my last audio book that I narrated for uh, ACX and Audible. But they are by far the best headphones I have ever had on my damn head. Hear me out, okay? First of all, comfortability. Super comfortable. Just cushion. And I don't have big ears, I have kind of small ears actually. So my ears actually fit inside of the ear cuffs and um a lot of people say that they're on ear headphones which they are they're on ear headphones like they they sit kind of flush against your ear like around the outer edges the cushion part does if you have like normal size ears or bigger size ears but my ears are smaller so my ears actually go inside of them and i don't feel any pressure or anything like that from these headphones okay um i can wear them for hours and hours and hours they don't bother me i've sat in this corner office uh studio whatever you want to call it for eight hours several times with these headphones on never to take them off and they never hurt the entire time i sat here with them on um this top uh band here this top part it's um not like super cushiony but it's cushiony enough you know what i'm saying it's it's cushiony enough to where it won't bother your head i don't wear a hat when i'm in the studio but even with a hat on it doesn't bother me with the button up there because it's not putting a lot of pressure down on the top of my head um if you can see it i don't know it's metal the uh side sizer bar thingamajigs they're metal so very durable unlike my last pair of headphones that broke on me which were plastic right there they break pretty damn easy these do not break easy and you can hear it oh let me see hear your sizes right there left side See that? That's like good quality. It's how you know. That's how you know. It sounds like metal going in, going inside of the thing. You know. Um. They are professional grade headphones. Um. Make sure you don't get the fake ones. The real ones will say studio monitor right here. Um. The real ones, they say, they have the R in the red right here or orange or salmon or whatever color that is but it's an r right there it's gonna say professional here just make sure it looks like this you know what i'm saying just make sure they look like these because these are legit they straight from sony so just make sure they look like this um if you're not sure about yours when you order them from like amazon which i recommend because they're cheaper um pull up a picture of them from Sony and just look at them or just buy them from Sony on Amazon because Sony has an account on Amazon and they sell these like 75 bucks I think um the sound part of them these are very flat 
which is a very good thing when you're recording um, voice and when you're voice acting or uh, narrating audiobooks, which is what I do. Um, they're very good for that because they're very they don't add any bass and they don't add any trouble. They just keep you like on a flat line so you can hear yourself perfectly well. And if you have a microphone like I have that has the headphone jack on it, so you can monitor yourself as you're speaking into the microphone. These are great for that because then you can hear if anything that you know you don't want in a recording gets in the recording because these will pick it up. Um, usually if you have a good quality microphone, your microphone will be very sensitive and it'll pick up everything that happens around you. Um, and these also are very, very sensitive. So what your microphone picks up, these will pick up and you will hear it. Whereas another pair of headphones, like a regular pair of headphones, you'll wear them and you may get a sound. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's like a sound like that. And you, those headphones won't pick it up. These will pick it up. So you'll hear the uh, messed up part of your recording through these headphones. Um, also, like for me, sometimes I'll have like a notepad like this, just laying on my desk while I'm recording and I might accidentally hit a corner of it like, like that. And it may be really quiet. So I wouldn't even hear it myself as I'm narrating, but the microphone will pick it up. These will pick it up. I had a lot of that problem going on with my old mic, my old uh, headphones where I wouldn't hear that that happened. Well, there are a lot of people who wear very expensive headphones that actually pick up those sounds. So you need to have headphones that pick up those sounds also, so you know how it sounds. Um, and after your recording is done, I would say use these to monitor yourself as you're recording and also to edit your recording. And then afterwards, um, when it sounds good in these, I would put another, I would take a cheaper pair or just take the headphones out of the jack altogether and put in and, and just leave it like that and just let it play through whatever you got it on your computer. Um, just let it play through the computer speakers so you can hear your recording through that because a lot of people don't have, you know, really flat, sensitive headphones so they won't know what they're hearing. So you want to make sure it sounds good in any case. But here's the good part about these headphones. Another good part, I should say. When you use these, if it sounds good in these, it sounds good in every pair of headphones. Every pair of headphones. Um, my only thing with these headphones is that when they work in tangent with the Yeti Pro microphone, the Yeti Pro is super sensitive to um, mostly uh, mids and highs. They are, it is super sensitive. So <clears throat> the moment you get your voice to hit a little too, too hard, too hard hitting in the pitch, like, ah! like that, or ah! if you hit it a little too hard, it's going to distort. These will also make it sound distorted when it's not really distorted in the microphone. And that is because you are monitoring straight up what you sound like 100% through the microphone. Whereas if you record it and then you play it back to yourself, it won't sound the same. It won't sound like that. So you gotta just play around with it a little bit. These are very sensitive. They are super, they are so sensitive that you kind of have to watch yourself and just kind of be careful with how loud you get or how loud whatever it is gets because these things are crazy sensitive. They just, they'll distort. You'll hear it in your ears and it's not a pleasant sound. I feel like my light is dying. It's not a pleasant sound when it distorts. That's my only thing with them. Um, otherwise they're perfect. I would not trade these headphones for anything else. Beats by Dre are not, not good headphones when it comes to doing this work. They're good for music. Get your little bass booming. 
These pick up on bass, mid, highs, whatever, when you're recording. You need these for your vocals. Whatever headphones you think are gonna be better than these, you're wrong. <clears throat> and for portability, you grab them like this and you just push them. So then you have them like this, portable. This cord does not, does not detach, all right? And you have like this coily old telephone looking cord, which is really good because it lays flesh against flesh. <laughs> it lays flush against whatever it's on. So once you've positioned it, it's not gonna mess up anything. It's not gonna make a sound because it's, it's flush up against whatever it's laying up against. And it's a very long cord also. Um, which can be stretched. So that's good also. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So get yourself a pair of dynamic stereo headphones, studio monitoring Sony MDR7506s and have a blast. Have fun. If you like the video and you want to see more like it, hit the like button, subscribe, tap the bell for notifications, leave a comment down below, tell me what you think, share this video with everybody who may be in the business for looking for headphones right now, and uh, yeah, holla at your boy, deuces.